Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Well, Paul wanted to build a straw bale building, and he didn't use the small bales. <laughs> he used the, the six foot by eight foot um, straw bales. So he used the big bales. Um, and he wanted to make it beautiful so that people would want to come see what it was about. Um, he didn't want to just build a straw bale building and, oh, that's nice, it's a straw bale building. He wanted to have it some interest and, and beauty. He wanted it to be beautiful. Um, the artist they had here, Pete Anderson, um, he started working and creating art, um, but unfortunately he died in a, a car accident. And then knowing Paul and Lynn as long as I have, um, they asked me if I wanted to try. So then I had to take Pete's notes and attempt to go from scratch because <laughs> I couldn't read his notes. <laughs> so um, it was like cooking. I had to think of a new recipe. I had to create a new recipe. So the basic that most cob is created is with sand, clay, and straw. That's what the basic cob mixture is. And cob is an English word meaning loaf. And they use it a lot in England. Um, there are some buildings that are about 100 years old in Minnesota that are made with cob. So I had to take it as far as doing artwork and, and change it with using a, um, uh, in some cases, using a wire framework, wire mesh, stuffing it with straw, and then covering it in cob. I could create three-dimensional pieces being the dragon, the trees, and some of the um, pieces that pop out of the wall. When I got here, um, Pete had already started the, the mushroom, so I had that to look at. And um, the, the dragon, which is called Wyndham, um, her tail is the beginnings of all the cords and computer components that go into the building. So I'm looking at all these cords and things sticking out of the ground, and I was like, okay, I can create a dragon out of it. I, I could see a dragon. So um, I started covering it in cob and building it up. Um, I took um, stakes because the building is made of straw bales. You can take wood stakes and pound them right into the building. And then I started um, building um, straw and wiring off of that to make the structures of the hips and legs. And then started covering it in cob. Um, this, this piece, I wanted to color it but I didn't want to use paint. So what I ended up using was um, back where I live with the old iron ore pits, I took iron ore and added it to kaolin clay and used it as the outer coating. So that's how it ended up being red pink compared to the brown, which is the natural clay from this area. As I went down the wall, I was creating dimension and form to the north wall some interest so that when people came onto campus they'd walk down the pathway and they would see interesting things as they walked in towards the building. This piece, the stump, I used um, recycled plastic lids. I tried to use as many recycled things, items, to create the, the artwork as I could. Um, uh, I used chalk to do some of the highlights on the mushroom. I used some acrylic washes to do the grass. Um, I used the, the plastic lids for the stump. Um, I used the, the polymer that Paul has been working with to waterproof cob. Um, I used it in some of my elements. The leaves are um, polymer and cob put over a wire mesh. So I had to cut each leaf out and then cover it with the, the cob mixture until it dried. And then we screwed them into the wall to create the tree. Um, also handmade all of the acorns that are hidden in the tree too, and those are all made out of mud. Um, the owl um, was the next element, and we were using um, uh, the same polym the same sculpey that um, I use in my tapestry paintings, we were using in the eyes of the owl. So we created these sculpey eyes and then glazed them so that they had some color and, and light, so they had like real eyes. The bench has been carved in and then vines were sculpted out so that you have um, some movement. Um, I used the rock base 
like they do in formal cob buildings um, and built the, the bench off of that. We tried to add some fun, whimsy, as well as realistic um, elements to it. Um, the moon is in the correct position to be on the north wall. So we tried to do uh, some elements that are realistic, like putting the constellations on the ceiling, putting the moon in the crate correct position as if it was on the, the north wall. Um, they wanted to keep it simple. They wanted to, to use um, uh, old technology with new technology and um, experimenting, always experimenting, trying to find the best way for the most energy efficient, um, whether it's with solar panels, wind energy, um, passive solar heat, um, using the earth to um, store it away to be used later. So all the buildings on campus all have heat sinks where all the heat is, is piped down into the earth and then piped back out again so that they can utilize it later. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.